That's my donut. That's a new one. That's, I needed to eat some donuts. Did you uh, chowing down on donuts sound? Well, I mean, we're having North Lime on today, so I just figure <laughs> it was in the it was in the spirit of the of the day. But yeah, no, I'm always go on a diet, and then we have great food on. Well, at least we have North Lime. But regardless, it's going to be a, a great show for sure. It is. We are glad to have you with us on this Thursday, December 5th. I'm Jennifer Palumbo, along with Seth Phillips. We were preempted yesterday by the impeachment hearing. That's so right. So we are glad to have a show it today. It seems like every time I'm on this show <laughs> in the last few weeks, uh, they're like, hey, we got to do some impeachment hearings again. But uh, no, we're back today. I'm, I'm here on a Thursday. Rarity yes. for me. But uh, Yes, and, 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 and we are glad here. about that. And you know, there's some breaking UK basketball news that I'm really excited about. Kentucky has just announced that it will be playing Michigan in December of next year yep. in London, not London, Kentucky, that, but London, England. That's basketball, by basketball. the way. I thought it was football, and I'm like, whoa. But <laughs> that it's would basketball. be cool, too. So, yeah, it's going to be kind of like a home, home, and away. But the away comes first. They're going to go to London, right? And yes. then they go to Ann Arbor. The next season, Ann Arbor, and then next the following season, Rupp, season, Rupp Arena. That's so, awesome. Yeah, and I mean, Michigan, you know, they're they're on a heck of a run this Always season so team, far. Michigan, so yeah. you'll get a, you can take a chance to go across the pond. Cheer across on the, the pond. UK Who in would, the UK. Would you make that trip? I feel like we're going to oh. have to fill in for you a few days because you're going to be yes. in the UK, right? I lived in London, England yeah. after I graduated from college, worked at ABC News. I love London. And so when I heard this might be a possibility, I said, this is this is the trip. You used to hang with the Queen, right? I actually saw her once on the street. Yes, she was going to see a Broadway show. <laughs> Random? And, and I was like, hey, hi. And she like was like, every, everybody she, was going nuts. She did the she did the whole. Yes, thing. she was walking hello, into walking into hello. the theater. That was my brush. Oh, that's cute. My brush with her. Yes. Love it. <laughs> All right. Well, a big show for you today. We're giving you more ways to shop local, and you can also help children in need. Also, North Lime Coffee and Donuts has a 12-day deal with free food. And Paulie Shore is back in Lexington with a new one-man show. We're going to hear from him. Excited to meet him. I am too. Oh my I'm goodness. So excited. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yes, and it's also throwback. Thursday, so we are celebrating this with Tis the Season for Photos with Santa Claus. This is one of my favorites. It's from 2006. My daughter Anna is not thrilled I at all to be sitting on Santa's laps. She's uh, like, lap. Who I, is this I person? I like the crying kid pictures. I think those, yeah. are, those are great. And, and my son John looks a little scared. This was <laughs> his first Christmas, so I was actually surprised I could Aww. get him into the Santa suit and he stayed in it. John's now 13, Anna is 15. That so. No chance that we could reenact this photo. But yeah, you could. Wouldn't it be funny though? Oh, I think they would. I think they'd be all on board for it. And the faces too, absolutely. Yes. All right, and this one is from our "It's on Facebook" page. Marilyn Hoffman Elrod says she hangs this photo of her children on her Christmas tree every single year. Her daughter Madeline was five. She's now 25, and her son Colin was. Two. He's now 22. Thanks to Marilyn for sharing this. Uh, we want to see your blast from the past pictures as well. Post them to our It's On Facebook page, and we might just show them on It's On. Her children look a lot more excited to see yeah. Santa than Anna Yeah, but did. it's always, I'm sure, uh, you never know what you're going to get with children and Santa because it's almost That's like the Easter funny. Bunny at the mall. You know, it's like they see this thing. It's it's cute. It's fluffy, but it's. It's big. terrifying. <laughs> all their little, all their little stuffed animals are like this big, but when they see it life size, it's like, whoa, this is too much for me. Totally different experience. And yes. Yeah, there's usually tears, but it's always <laughs> a great time. All right, well, let's take a look at what's on now. And you've probably seen this by now. The internet has a new viral cat sensation. This one might just have a southern accent. The video shows the orange feline named Gambino running away from the camera into the kitchen before popping out from behind the fridge to meow. In the clip, Gambino's meow sounds just like the words. Well, hi, said in a thick southern accent. Take a listen. Well, hi. Well, hi. Oh, bless it. <laughs> fiddle is, fiddle is dee dee. Social. Get that cat a mint julep, why don't you? Yes, this has more than 1.4 million views and likes. No surprise, because everybody well, loves, a, loves a cat. But oh, yes. I love it. Do it again, one more time. Well, hi. Do I sound like it? Do <laughs> yes, I sound like do. that cat? Oh, get him a Dr. Pepper, <laughs> sugar. All right, for decades, <laughs> Folgers ads have pulled up the heartstrings during the holiday season. The iconic ad from 1986 of the older brother coming home just in time for Christmas. It ran for 17 years before an updated version replaced it. Now the coffee giant is aiming to tickle your funny bone <laughs> in a new ad campaign feature featuring Folgers Morning Harmonizers. The group takes uh, the well-known jingle into the bathroom and awkward encounter with an in-law. The spot is gaining a lot of traction online. Folgers says when uh, your morning run involves running away with your eyes closed, 
The Folger Choir shows up to turn things around with a hot cup of coffee and a song. The best part of waking up is, is Folgers, Folgers in, in your cup. cup. Oh, fiddle dee dee. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. All right, you can give the gift of beauty this holiday season at Wells Plastic Surgery and Skin Care in Lexington. For 25 years, it's been helping people look and feel their best. It's on reporter Toby Brown is getting the lowdown on some great deals going on today. It's On invites you to shop local. Presented by Emerson Farms Country Store in Georgetown. Ho, 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 and hey, 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 we're still shopping local. You've got to get into Wells Plastic Surgery today. That's right. You, you know, this is kind of a non-traditional way to do like Christmas shopping, but definitely there is something here for every woman, man, right? Exactly, and it's discounted today. Love that. Mm -hmm. So tell me, because I've been reading uh, this right here, mm -hmm. and you've got a lot of things going on today, mm -hmm. including giveaways. Yes. You can tell so me about some of those This things. is our traditional holiday event that's gone on for over 10 years. And the usual form format is that products and procedures are 20% off. We have special bundles, um, for example, Fras Fraxel laser and some other things that are more than 20%. But the really great thing is if you come, there's a $3,000 door prize and um, goodie bags for the first 80 folks. Oh my heavens, goodie bags. Okay, so yes. we have, I have, happen to have one of these right here with a lot of treats. You have to come and get a goodie bag, right? Yes. Along with some type of uh, little work that you have going on. Now, you're going to be doing demos, though. Yes, and that's one what? of our most exciting things yeah. we've only done for about a year. Um, we have demonstrations of various procedures we do, non-surgical procedures, and they vary from everything from a simple hydrofacial to... Um, actually a thread lift. We're doing two of yeah, those what during is the that? day. You know, it's a it's an absorbable material. It's actually like a thread that will add structure to the skin and actually a little lift. Lift up a little bit. Yeah. So if you're not ready for a facelift but you need a little something a little more something. than your usual injectable, right. um, it's a great thing to do. Our nurse practitioner uh, Morgan Bateman does those. Oh my gosh. Did, mm -hmm. I mean look side note because you got me curious now. Yeah. Um but like how long does that type of procedure like last? Is it this can like last about two years depending wow. On how much you um, take care put of yourself in there. Uh -huh, and take care, in, right? Yes, the skin itself. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. I just think that that's wonderful. Yeah, there's not many people in the region doing it, and I think that's that's what's made this offering really unique. Okay, fire and ice facial. Tell yes. me what's what's going on with fire and ice. That is actually something for everybody, even teens. It's a very mild facial with a low acid, and not any downtime at all. Just a gentle exfoliation. It sounds wonderful. It mm -hmm. actually sounds, you know, very exciting. Well, I'm excited for you that you're offering all of these wonderful gifts today mm -hmm. um, up until what time? Five? Well, we close at 6, but okay. something important to know is yes. that if you can't come down today, this afternoon, mm -hmm. you can participate by going to our online store through our website. You can call and actually pre-purchase the products and procedures and use them as you will later in the year. Okay, so you don't have to fight traffic, mm -hmm. okay? All the guys who are listening right now, trust me, your woman is going to want some type of gift from this wonderful lady right here and you gotta bring her down or just call and write in, right? Right. Or, or just, um, you know, get on the website. Yes, and she yeah. can tell you what she wants and we are open till noon on the 24th. Okay. And usually the only people that come in are men doing their last minute shopping. <laughs> Of course, yes. the guys are waiting to the mm -hmm. last minute. Well, I love this. This is definitely um, a unique gift, one that you can't put under the tree, but one you'll definitely feel and, you know, um, tr cherish, really, for the next two years, this, according to you, right? Exactly. <laughs> All right, so guys, come on uh, over here, check this out, and back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Toby. Wells Plastic Surgery is located at 1707 Nicholasville Road in Lexington. To learn more, give their services or their services, give them a call at 859-255-6649 or check out their website, wellsplasticsurgery.com. Well, you can shop local by banking local at Lexington's Bank of the Bluegrass. Each year, they partner with the toy chest in Lexington. And you can light up a child's Christmas by helping them give toys to children who otherwise might not have any for Christmas. It's on with Logan Nance, Ron Gray, and Tom Granke. Hey, guys, how you doing? Good Thank you. Well. Thanks for being on with us. And uh, tell us a little bit about this. What's going on? Well, the toy chest is in its eighth year. Uh, we're a all-volunteer 
grassroots nonprofit here in Lexington. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do things throughout the year, but uh, Christmas is our biggest service project. Sure. So uh, we sponsor, uh, in the beginning, it was just a little bit over 100 kids, but now we're going to be at over 500 wow. this wow. year. Uh, a couple of new outfits, a couple of new toys. Uh, we throw in some books there when we can. And uh, all our counties run from central and eastern Kentucky, about two thirds in central Kentucky though. Mm. So everything that you give goes directly to the kids. And uh, we make sure we work with schools uh, to uh, identify kids that maybe fall through the crack, uh, sure. through the cracks and aren't on other uh, lists, if you will. So. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is it important for Bank of the Bluegrass to be involved with this, with the toy chest? Well, first, thanks for having us today. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, you know, our bank is really a community bank at the end of the day. Um, very appreciative that our ownership and our leadership of the bank prioritizes community service. So working with the toy chest, making sure that kids have a happy and Merry Christmas, which really everyone should have the right to have, um, is wonderful. And uh, we're very appreciative that, that we get to do that. So Logan, uh, in your eyes, how important is it for children who don't or may not have a Christmas mm -hmm. for them to uh, be involved in a program like this and, and be able to have a Christmas through yeah. you guys? You know, we, I think, all uh, remember our childhoods very fondly where we you know, had Christmas presents every morning. And we at the toy chest really believe that every child deserves that, deserves mm -hmm. those memories. So, uh, it's really important for us to make sure that every child that we can possibly reach has, has a Christmas. Um, so that's why we want to identify these children mm -hmm. to make sure that they don't wake up Christmas morning without anything. What are the uh, toys? Are there any specific areas, age groups that you really need this year? Yeah. So we actually uh, find individual children. So we have like a list of their, and they make wish lists for us. So we know what they want. And we pair those children with sponsors that mm -hmm. they can go out and shop for those kids. So we really make it a personal connection, not just, you know. Now, is this just a toy uh, drive or is there also like a monetary donation possibility? Oh yeah, you can, you can make a financial donation on our website. It's okay. thetoychest.org. And uh, we are a 501c3, so mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's a tax-deductible gift. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got lots of corporate sponsors, and we're grateful to Bank of the Bluegrass because they've been a longtime sponsor of the Toy mm -hmm. Chest. And uh, so you can either you, you can even uh, you, you can take a wish list and sponsor or shop for the kid, or you can make a donation, and then we do a lot of shopping ourselves. So mm -hmm. uh, however, however you want to give, sure. Uh, There's always a way. We've got lots of ways. Yeah, yeah. love yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that's great. Thank you all yeah. so much for Appreciate being here and Bank of the Bluegrass for all that you do for the community Thank as well. For, yeah. for, for more us. information on the toy drop-off and the wrapping party, log on to toychest.org. And if you'd like to learn more about banking local, visit bankofthebluegrass.com. All right, it's not too late for a chance to win a shop local prize pack valued at more than $1,500, all part of Lex, Lex, LEX 18's, oh my goodness, <laughs> holiday shop local sweepstakes presented by Emerson Farms Country Store. Just log on to lex 18com go to the contest tab to enter to win. You only have a few days more to enter. The contest runs through Sunday. 